Okay, the other day, what was it, Saturday? I was out clearing the trail, and my little 12 inch DeWalt went crunch and seized up. And actually, Sunday, I got it back here on the tailgate garage and uh, found out what the problem was and fixed that up. And I should have videoed it, show what, how I did it, and some of the things about this particular machine, which I've had for a couple of years and I've been very happy with it. But it's got a few quirks. The first thing I want to point out is there's no battery in this. Be safe, take the battery out. So I'm just going to go through a few things, unscrew a few things, and show you what's what. Now this here holds this cover on. And this is what tensions the chain. And that is the safety lock if it bucks on you. It shuts it down. Sets the brake and everything. If you're going to be sharpening the chain, you got to have that in because you, otherwise you can't rotate it around. Now I'm going to loosen something up here. You go one full turn on that. And then give that a couple of turns just to loosen up the bar a little bit. Then you can take the rest of this off. three pins. One, two, three. And there's also the oiler that comes out there automatically. Now every other saw I've had over the years, this actually bolted down. On this, it's held in by these pins. And these two particularly just barely clear the bar. This is the one that fits in here to tighten it down. So what happened, if you watched my last video, I was working down on the ground in the moss, sucking a bunch of stuff in here that normally wouldn't have get sucked in if you're just doing regular cutting. And I sucked in so much stuff that it actually pushed the bar off these pins here. And that allowed the bar to rotate far enough up so the chain wedged itself here in the drive sprocket and everything went clunk. And that bar came up so far that it took a chunk out of the cover. I'm out there kneeling in the moss with the mosquitoes eating on me and the sweat rolling through my goggles. So I decided to just bring it home and do it. Got to put that back on, of course. The hardest part, of course, is to get everything aligned up and put on there when you're greasy fingers and uh, it doesn't want to cooperate, of course like pushing a chain. So anyway, I cleaned out everything on there and I made sure the bar wasn't bent and the chain wasn't kinked. I put this back on. Of course, you just slide that over that threaded post. And then according to the manual, 
you go three clicks. And that's the tension for the cover. To adjust the chain, go one, two, out. You can see the chain is a little slack there. Tighten it up. Want to get it roughly an eighth of an inch of slack. And then tighten that up. And that ought to be good. Now we're going to get the battery out and stuff that in there and check it. And of course, I left the battery in the house. Okay. Got a safety switch here, and then you pull the trigger. train. Yep. Doing good. That's basically all there is to it. I should have been checking more to make sure it was clean. But was on a roll. It's a good little saw. I've been very happy with it. Fits in my cargo box. Battery life is pretty good. The time the battery runs down, I've run down. So I've got no complaints about this.